okay to start. I really have a problem with uh, tremolo. Tremolo. You are the tremolo master. <laughs> I, I'm just trembling. He's the tremolo master. <laughs> Am I the tremolo master? Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. That's cheating. Microphone master. Uh, okay, tremolo. It's a good question, I think, because um, I think that the the movement starts. Now, you you will interfere. Yes, I interfere. If when I'm done, yes. If you don't agree with this, or if you have another angle, <laughs> but I I think that tremolo works quite a lot. Starts from here, really. With and this this movement, and um, rather than trying to do it with the fingers. Even if you have, even if you have a pianissimo uh, tremolo like in uh, Dante Sonata, I do it from here, and you feel that, in, in a way, it's you have to feel like like the hand is a little bit divided in in two. There is one part who has support here, which is basically almost always the, the fifth. And there, there can be, this, it can even be the fourth and the thumb, or whatever chord you have, or three, two, or three, one, or two, one, or... So, it comes from here and here, of course. And then the important thing is that you don't put your hand just like a, you don't try to fix your, your hand like that. But that your your fingers are still that your fingertips are still sensitive to to the keyboard that the, that the, the 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 fingers and the joints and the fingertips still feels this this mechanic of of the uh, of the key of the key uh, how should I say the rebounding key. rebounding yes yes exactly. So that that's uh, basically. Can I just add something? Yes, that absolutely. If you talk very loud, I will talk very loud. <laughs> there are thousands of people, of course, who wanted to know this. We have to talk loud. I think Per thinks that this movement starts here, but I think he does. Of course, he does fantastic tremolo, but I think the basic movement is actually here, between these two bones that you have in your. And this is a movement which is incredibly natural to people. This is the first thing you ask people, not one, one of the first things if you hurt their head or they have stroke if they can do this. Mm. If they cannot do this, they have a problem. So this starts it, but of course when you, when you do it, it vibrates here because you have to be open here so that it starts yes, following. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And, but why, why I say it starts it? Because sometimes well, you have tremolo in different uh, registers of the piano and sometimes in unexpected places and, and you have to be very good at finding a position for the right arm that, that the left, uh, for, for the uh, upper arm, I mean, not right, the upper arm, so the underarm can tremble against this. Because, for example, when you sit like this, you still can mm -hmm. do a very good tremolo. Mm -hmm. So you have to find a good position uh, for this arm to move freely against this. With what you said about the fingers, I 100% agree. I, I think that is one of the, especially the thumb, one of why, why it's sometimes very difficult to do a, a tremolo for some people is that the fingers go dead, and they try to do everything from, from here. And th this has to, not only to answer, but sometimes even vibrate a little bit, mm -hmm. and it, it helps incredibly. And I think also the, the degree how much you use your fingers is slightly personal. I yeah. mean, if you see really five different pianists doing a really good tremolo, they, they do it kind of this principal way, but the, the, how much they use their fingers, or what, how big the movements are, is to me, seems to me, be. Person, it's like yeah. a personal. Yeah. You have to find your way mm -hmm. on uh, how much this uh, should move. Experiment. Mm -hmm. with, but I, I, uh, I think actually it's the, the danger of not having a being conscious here is also that when you do this, mm -hmm. it's very easy to get tense yeah. and block this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess that's what you but meant. When you but block this, you also don't find the right position yes. and it doesn't follow. 
Right. Because now where you're sitting, you were showing, and of course it, it, it should move along. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. But there's also another thing with thermal, because th this movement, th there are elements of this, as, as of you all know, in all kinds of figurations that are not really tremolo. We play certain kinds of, uh, in Wien classical music, da -da 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 -da. so there is always a, a mixture between using the fingers, going around with, the, with the, using the wrist, and also this, this movement. As soon as something, like Pat said, mm -hmm. as soon as something starts alternating between two sides of the hand, you, st you start helping yourself with this movement. Sometimes you can use it too much, but you have to be very conscious when it starts to be partly a tremolo movement. And, and for example, in wind class can use it when you have this, of course you use your fingers more because it's very light. Mm. So this is just a complement. Mm. Then if you have a least tremolo. Mm. Mm. So that's what I think. Perhaps you agree? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's Yeah, the, I don't think, uh, I don't really, it, no place in the piano literature comes to my mind right away where p fingers and hands should be fixed, actually, at all. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, totally, totally. Uh, really. Did you ever apply this? Uh, yeah, if if you do it with, uh, do you want to? No, it's. Uh, I mean, I think it's re related to this. Yes, it would be a one-three trill, right? You cannot do it with. I guess you can do it with two-three, but you, there is not so much speed. But to do that with fingers is impossible, unless you want to destroy your hands. 